Hello everyone, this is Redacted Origin, and welcome to The Missing Hiker. This is an indie horror game where we are in search of our brother, who, in fact, is missing. Let's go. December 11th, 1994. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Oh my goodness. You guys know I have a thing for music like this. Oh, we're starting this game out strong. So first impressions, I'm driving the car. You guys know I like doing that. Hopefully there's nobody in my back seat because it's kind of like deja vu. But my goodness, this jam, let's go. Developer, you guys make incredibly good music. Okay, you guys are probably not going to hear it, but I was just singing stupidly. I almost just smashed that car also. Looks like we're coming up on a gas station. I should park at this gas station to ask if they saw my brother. Oh, oh, E to exit car. All right. F for flashlight. One creepy car here. All right, all right. This area is very creepy. Okay, okay. This guy's driving a Mercedes. What do I do? What do I drive? Mine looks like a BMW. Oh yeah, absolutely. BMW. Look at this guy. What do you want? Uh, I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, but that's not my problem. You shouldn't just randomly approach people like this. Especially in this area. Uh, what do you mean? Look, I worked pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beer and go home to watch Netflix. I'm not in the mood to talk with a degenerate like you. Uh, I get it, but there's no reason to be a dick. Dick. Let's see what the, uh... Let's see what this uh, bearded uh, cashier has to say. Or maybe he's the owner, I don't know. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. Hmm. Uh, ah, uh, I think I did see your brother. He came here and bought a few things, some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him. Have you told the police already? Why are you asking about the police? Yes, I did in fact. But they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. They said they'd only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. This isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people have went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. Better watch out. Don't be going in them woods. So, you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. I'm probably the killer. I'm probably going to kill you when you go out there. But I'm not going to... I got a nice beard. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. I hope I uh, brought a gun. So I'm supposed to go behind... Oh my god, I just tried to get back in the car. I was just going to drive up this trail. Okay. So I guess we're just going to walk out in the woods. And hopefully a chupacabra doesn't get me. Because there's chupacabras everywhere coming for me. I'm kind of noticing a trend in the games I'm playing. I, I seem to be playing a lot of games lately where I'm walking in the woods with a flashlight. Or maybe that's just the horror genre where it's scary to walk in the woods. I don't know. 
I'd be freezing though. I hope my guy has like proper uh, attire on because this looks like it's negative 20 degrees out and I'm just walking around by myself. Holy crap, I just got turned around while turning around. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, okay. Stay focused. Oh, there's a tent. Maybe it's my brother's. Let's go directly to it. Even though you're not... My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should still take a closer look. Well, just like I was saying, you don't really come up on people's random tents and campsites. Uh, if you're going to be in the wilderness and camping, you don't want to just show up and uh, intrude on people. Oh! oh my god. You have the same haircut as the other guy did. Thanks for jump scaring the literal crap out of me. Whoa, whoa. Who are you? You scared the shit out of me, bro. I scared you? Oh my god, you just gave me a heart attack. What, bro? What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? No, bro. How would you even know what he looked like? Wait, you don't even know what he looks like. Yeah, come on. The other guy asked what he looked like. At least you didn't even ask. Guilty. Look, bro. I'm just some guy that likes to hike in a woods. I don't know what what's an in a woods. Is this supposed to be in the woods? And sleep in a tent in the freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone for days, bro. Uh, I get it. I understand. You're planning on going deeper in the forest? Whoa. <laughs> yes. I'll search around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something because I say bro a lot, but it's not true, man. Last night I had my tent a bit up north, and I heard weird noises coming from it, bro, and it wasn't because I was doing stuff I shouldn't do. It sounded like a child was crying. I didn't see anything, bro. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. What's a cryptid? A what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? I asked that at the beginning of the game. Do I have a gun? I'm talking about a piece, bro. Something for protection. You mean a gun? No, no, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place, man. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the woods at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to go back to bed. Also, bro, one thing. Don't creep up in tents. Yeah, oh my god, this is literally... Don't repeat what I'm saying, game. Don't creep up in a tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost shot you. Legitimately. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck, bro. I wonder what happens if I just, like, walked out in the woods. But let's go back to the road. I'm not sure if this game has, uh, multiple endings. I know it's a short horror game. Mm, I think it said 15 to 20 minutes long in the description. Uh, we'll see how long it actually takes us. I've been walking around for five minutes. I've been walking and walking and walking and walking and nothing has happened. Hurrah. Nothing in the woods. Nothing in the night. Just a little death. Just a little fright. Look at this weird valley over here. Like it's like a pit. What is this? I'm waiting for some... It's getting really cold. I should set up the tent on the left side of the road. Oh, I guess I have to set it down there. I have a feeling that it's something... I'm thinking that it's supernatural. Oh, I can't walk forward anymore. I'm thinking it's probably going to be something supernatural. I don't know what a cryptid is. Uh, the music is creepy. It's. I'm calling it. It's either supernatural or it's the gas station guy. We'll find out. My fingers are numb. It's hard to build the tent. Holy crap, I did that so fast. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if it was real or imagined. Probably my brother. I need to check. It could be my brother screaming for help.
Ooh, I hear weird noises. Ooh, it's coming from... There's a light deeper in the woods. I need to see if that could be my brother. Well, somebody's dying down there. Or in trouble. What is that? What's the chances of me camping on this hill right next to this? What is that? A, a building? Looks like a cabin, maybe. I'm just waiting for something to come out and kill me while I'm walking. I'm not even sure if I'm going to make it there. Ooh, I'm getting creeped out a little bit. Everything is so freaking dark. Ooh, don't like it, don't like it. The moon is very pretty. Uh, I think there's a fence around the cabin. Oh, come on, flashlight. Not right now. My brother's backpack. Oh, great. Weird, nothing inside. So somebody obviously has him inside and is killing him. And they left his backpack outside. Oh, let's check around the building, make sure there's nobody hiding. No, nobody hiding. Oh, I don't want to go inside. Now I guess we're going inside. There's a nice little TV in here. Beer cans. What are these? What the hell? Somebody made a picture of my tent. Made? They took one. Yeah, that's definitely my BMW in my tent when I was sleeping. Uh, there is 100% someone standing outside the door. There's 100% so... Oh my god, there's a death room here too. Pick up the axe. Pick up the axe. There's a generator, there's a hook here. Obviously they killed my brother. Pick up the axe. Oh, I'm gonna have to run past this guy. Okay. I'm gonna go out, he's gonna run at us. I'm gonna act like I'm going left. We're gonna go right. We're gonna zigzag and we're gonna haul butt for the camp. Okay, let's do this. Oh! Okay, that just... <laughs> was not expecting that. Your body was never found. I honestly thought that was going to be a chase sequence where I had to run from him. I should have been able to pick up the axe. I, I would have 100% picked up that axe in real life. And we would, have had a, we would have had a tussle. That's all I'm saying. So that was The Missing Hiker. This game was made by the same developer who made Driving Home, which we played. I loved Driving Home. This game seemed a little shorter maybe, or maybe just felt shorter than Driving Home. But it had a couple good jump scares. Creepy environment. The snow in the woods always gonna creep me out. That could be because of the Blair Witch. Honestly, the Blair Witch always was a big like movie that scared me when I was growing up. You know, being in the tent gives me that vibes personally. But overall, developer, good game. It's the second game I played of yours. I think that's your second game out, and it was another banger. So great job. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please leave a comment, and subscribe because it always helps me and lets me know. You know. You guys are enjoying what you're watching. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next thing we play. Bye.